Nielsen for Doppler 7 weather. A noisy one out there last night, and the storms are still firing across eastern New Mexico. Today, though, a drying trend, a temporary one, does start to work into the state before yet another storm system approaches. Look at all the wet weather out on the eastern plains and across northeast New Mexico. Some of these storms here we're going to throw the lightning bolts on are really throwing down a lot of lightning. Of course, those rumbles of thunder probably have you away from most of the overnight hours. Another cluster of storms pushing into Santa Rosa. Fort Sumner, a noisy night. Tucum carry the storm still uh, kind of flying right now. Uh, just inside of this box in the last hour right here. This does extend on into West Texas, but we have seen 916 lightning strikes. That's a lot of thunder in the sky in 60 minutes. Uh, southern New Mexico, mostly dry, but look at these areas. Basically, Highway 285 and points to the east. The storms are still developing, and we're going to watch this area closely for some strong storm redevelopment and possibly some heavy rain. Uh, there's still a flash flood watch there for you for Eddie and uh, Lee County until noon today. Now, looking back on the rainfall totals yesterday, looks like about three-tenths of an inch. Raton, Vegas, down towards Santa Rosa. We had a .04 in Albuquerque. Several rounds of those gusty sprinkles. Not much for the southwest. Durango, you had about three tenths of an inch. Now, since midnight, four tenths in Durango, over an inch in Las Vegas, Santa Rosa, 0.14, Tucum Carry, 0.34, and it was another 0.04 for the Albuquerque Metro. So, still picking up some of that precipitation here early this morning. 49 muggy degrees in Santa Fe. We're in the low 50s around the Albuquerque Metro. Uh, southern New Mexico is still seeing spots well into the 60s where you have the storms trying to develop around Roswell and Carlsbad. Winds right now, 10 miles per hour, Albuquerque. Awfully gusty out on the eastern plains. That's a 21 Tucum Carry. 23 there for Clovis. Uh, it does look like it'll be breezy today, but not windy. Winds definitely lighter than yesterday. And the direction has changed on top of all this as well. It's westerly breezes, only at about 10 miles per hour this afternoon. Most of us will be able to time out a two day break in the action before this next Pacific storm looks to arrive by Thursday, bringing the storm chances back to the state. So we slowly watch the rain push out of New Mexico. That's a midday check. Still some showers along the I 25 corridor. Here's sunset basically at 8.15. You can see we're all the way dry by then. We stay dry through the overnight, a pretty quiet Wednesday to look forward to. Watch what happens as we page into the early morning hours of our Thursday. You can see the showers. They start to return to the eastern plains. Now let's talk temperatures out there. With the dry westerly breezes, you will see some afternoon sunshine across northern New Mexico, but this yet another below average temperature day, uh, staying mostly in the 60s across our northern mountain cities and across southern and southwestern New Mexico. We expect temperatures mostly in the low 80s. It'll be another warm one around Roswell and Carlsbad. Upper 80s, but again, some storms could still develop this morning and push on into West Texas. Uh, looks like 72 for Albuquerque. Our average high is 80 degrees. Really haven't had a lot of pool time weather. Santa Fe only hit 64 this afternoon. Low temperatures tonight with kind of a break in the action and quiet skies. Most of us will be dipping down into the 40s. Our average low in Albuquerque is around 50 or 51 degrees. So our afternoons have been below average. Our overnights have been below average as well. Uh, we do see warmer days moving back in, not hitting our 80 degree average high temperature for Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, Friday in the upper 70s with that Thursday storm chance. Here's the weekend preview, and right now it looks like it will be cooler than average, but mostly quiet. Maybe some leftover wind for Saturday and then Sunday and Monday. Uh, those will be pretty outdoor friendly days. Latest pollen count here, Kino pods moderate on the west side of town. Otherwise, the rain soaked skies kind of keeping the pollen concentrations on the low side. Todd, Marissa.